shadows fall and hope has fled still your heart the dawn will come the night is long and the path is dark look to the sky for one day soon the dawn will come the shepherd's lost and his home is far keep to the stars the dawn is made stronger by facing doubt. Untested, it is nothing. A word. A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause. Or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is Elven. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived. Nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it to Vinter. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not, he risks our alliance. I cannot allow it. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree. But there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow.
They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus, what drew him to you. He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The Anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. It's unanimous. You all have that much confidence in me? All of these people have their lives because of you. They will follow. That wasn't the question. I will not lie. Handing this power to anyone is troubling. But I have to believe this is meant to be. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. Corypheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. He intends to be a god, to rule over us all. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have, and soon the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> will you fight? So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Corypheus wants to restore to Vinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain.